It is no secret that since coming back from college, my room at my parents' house has seen better days. That's why I decided that now is the perfect time for me to do a 24-hour room makeover challenge. Will this perfectionist be able to transform her room in just 24 hours? Or will my need for perfection hinder the process? Katie. What? You ready? Mm -hmm. So this is my old room that I got kicked out of by her. This has got to go. <laughs> Do you think it's possible? Yeah, I think you can. I think we can. We have until 2.45 tomorrow afternoon. All right, get out of here. All right. So basically we're gonna go look for some paint swatches. We don't know what color paint yet. And we can't buy the paint until my dad gets home tonight because he wants to help us buy the paint. So we're gonna get some swatches, decide what color we want, and then start buying decor based on the swatches. We found this little mirror, and we're not sure if we're gonna use it, but we're putting it in the cart in case. All right, I just had to go drop Katie off at home. We're on our own now. In true Abby fashion, I think I am going a little bit overboard. Now we take our first major step and we start the cleanup process. We have to clean this room like crazy to be able to even reach the walls to paint. Next, I started making the bed with the brand new bedding that I bought. I love these sheets and I especially love it with the white comforter on top. I picked out a lot of cute row pillows that I really think are going to end up tying the room together. What have we gotten ourselves into? It is 9.44 p.m. and we are about to start painting this room. It is 12.30 a.m. and we just finished the first coat of paint. So we're letting it dry overnight, we're gonna get some sleep and then back to work in the morning. I am crazy sore, like so sore. All right, it's 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna do the second coat. All right, we are finished painting. Now we are sweeping up the giant dust mess on the ground, and then we will start decorating. We're starting to put things back to where they go. We're having some troubles with the shelves. Oh wow, it's a little crooked up there. <laughs> and now you've seen the behind the scenes of how we went from this to this.